You are dead, aren't you? That's how I feel today, yeah. I'm all, <laughs> yeah. No, I can't, no, none of this coming back in the shower. Would you like to see me in the shower? Of course yeah. you Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're just saying that. Well, Peggy, <laughs> Peggy's coming back, isn't she? She's still a final season. Yeah. Kathy Beale's come back. I, I, think it's I think it's great that Barbara's going back, you know, to, to finish it off properly. And apparently Ross Kemp might be coming back and all mm. sorts of exciting yeah. things going on. Mm. I just think it's pushing it that Barry's been sort of hiding in Scotland for, <laughs> for, you know, for and if you, and if 12 years. So, if they did say, look, we really want you to come back, would you want to come back as a harder character? Because he was really well, he, uh, quite a wimp. Yeah, he was a wimp. <laughs> but what happened was, very, very quickly, Barry started off as quite an edgy character. He, he gave Cindy the number of the hitman that shot in. Mm, yeah. he, he got a hold of Cindy's kids and, and tried to help her uh, get out of the country on the Eurostar, Waterloo. He set fire to the car lot. And then a lovely actor called Paul Bradley left. He's in Holby oh, now, yeah, uh, yeah. Nigel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they needed a sort of chubby buffoon, and, and they shifted me over, which gave me a sort of longevity, really, which mm. is why I think I lasted sort of um, ten, ten, ten years. Ten years? Ten years, yeah, afraid so. Yeah. I've been out 12. Yeah. Makes that up, makes that up prison, then I've been out 12. I've reoffended. <laughs> Very good. How did you tell them you were leaving? You got a part in a paint hole or something? I did. What happened was, I'd sort of had enough. You see, you see, these days, they'll let people go off and do other things. Yeah. So you'll see people on, on Strictly Come Dancing, you'll see them in the jungle, then they're allowed to go back into the show. Mm. Then they were really quite strict about that. And I'd just done... That's all I'd done. I left drama school at 30, convinced that I wanted a career in the theatre, and I got snapped up by EastEnders, and I was in it for 10 years. So I'd never done anything else. I'd never done any theatre, so I was quite... Yeah. So I basically, yeah, I, I, I booked the pantomime, I forced their hand a bit, but I don't regret it, you know, I've, I've, I've still, um... I've, I've been chipping away ever since. Oh, you've still done there. one still there. Of course, now you are living your dream, cos you're going to be on stage with, or you are on stage with the fabulous The Railway the Children. The Railway Children, it is a beautiful... Has anyone seen it? It's a beautiful, it's it's a beautiful film, show. It? Yeah. yeah, well, it's, it, it's, it's very loyal to the film and very loyal to the, um... That's you, oh, Mr oh, Perks. There it is, Mr Perks. Uh, <laughs> you're all right. It was Bernard Cribbins It was Bernard Cribbins, yeah. yeah. Yeah, one of my heroes, so it's great to be playing that part. So is it King's Cross? Is it King's Cross? So how does that work? Cos I know you've got a steam train, so... Is it on one of the platforms? Yeah, it's, it's a purpose-built theatre. Uh, so what happens is there, there is a train track right down the middle of the theatre. 500 people sit either side. Wow. So they've all got a great view. And then they bring the steam train on and off during wow, the course of the night. Brilliant. But they also have moving wooden sort of segments that if, 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 if they're talking about a scene in the mother's front room, it'll be pushed on. Uh, uh, and, and the mother's there, all set up on the chairs and tables, and that'll go off, and someone else's room will come on. So there's a constant flow of movement up and down this track, but the train comes on at, at certain right, intervals, so all puffing up. steam and all that. And Mr Perks is a really lovable It's, it's a lovely show. So what it is, basically, very quickly, the three children, their father's been taken away from them. We won't go into that, uh, 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 exactly what happens, because I don't want to ruin it for anyone. And, and they're, they're, they're desperately missing him, so Perks becomes quite fatherly to them during the, mm. during the show, and uh, it's a beautiful part. I'm, I'm, I'm always blubbing at the end. Well, I've it's done 20 times now. Oh, no. it's, a, it's, a, it's a real tearjerker, it is isn't a tear it? Um, it's on until the 10th of April at King's Cross Theatre in London. Um, we just wanted if you play a little game with us while you're here, because we like to oh, play yeah. a little oh, no, game. Can, can I quickly oh, ask yeah. Sean something? Sure. I did a show with Sean. <laughs> I thought it was like last year. It shows you I'm <laughs> losing it a bit. It was how long ago? 10 years ago? It was ago? 11 years ago. It's 2005. <laughs> we had wow. to teach nine-year-old children. But you know what? But, but it That's was frightening. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean was better at it than me. I'm sure it was. <laughs> no, it was, no, you know, it, it was genuine, wasn't it? We, we were trained the first week. The second week, we had this class <gasps> of children. We marked the homework. We did playground duty. We did after school clubs. I did the parents' evening. <gasps> you know, wow. and, and, and it was it was terrifying. I lost my voice in the end because of all the. I wasn't shouting, but I pitched it at a certain level. All the, you know, throughout <laughs> the week, over the hubbub, and just lost my voice. The teachers obviously have to move. Was that fear? I, but, oh, I was terrified. <laughs> you, you know, it really was serious. We had to teach maths and, and English. We had to go through a proper check and be trained, and we did it for two weeks. And at the end of it, oh, it was exhausting. I had identical twins in my class. Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I said, I said, can all the kids wear name badges? They weren't. We had to memorise yeah, yeah. twenty. Terrifying. No, Terrifying. Nightmare. Nightmare. Hats off to teachers. I've got to say, I would have been delighted you walking in my classroom, but her had a crown. I could never go back to that school. <laughs> So, sure, it's always lovely to see you come back and see us any time. As Railway Children is on at the King's Cross Theatre in London until 10th of April, so you go and see him as Mr Perks. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks for having me again.